Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome back uh, to English Pro YouTube channel. Uh, I am Milala and uh, this video it will be about uh, the phrasal verb in English. Uh, what are the phrasal verb and uh, how can you use them correctly in your daily conversation? Uh, so keep watching this video to clear up the confusion in your mind. The phrasal verb. The phrasal verb. Are you ready to join me? Let's go. Uh, simply, the first verb is the combination between verb plus one or two particles. Uh, the verb uh, can be a standard verb can be get, look, or go, etc. Uh, verb plus one par or, par or, or two particles. A particle simply can be a preposition, preposition like, uh, like from, into out by etc plus or adverb like way or together and there are a uh, lot of uh, preposition and adverb that can you use uh, in the first verb uh, remember that uh, the phrasal verbs can uh, can be helpful for you to understanding uh, our native speakers while you are watching a program TV or movies or listening podcasts or news. Uh, the phrasal verbs have multiple meaning, so it is really important to learn them uh, on practice in the context. Uh, to explain the multiple meaning of a phrasal verb, uh, take uh, take off. Take on this uh, adverb like uh, example, backup. Backup is a phrasal verb, uh, can be means to support, to support someone, or to make, to make copy of your data backup can be also used to to do to do someone's job and this and their absence So, uh, <clears throat> to more understand, uh, backup uh, can be used to support someone, for example. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for backing me. Backing me up at the exam. In this example, uh, backup uh, means to support someone. Thank you for backing me up the, at the exam. Uh, taking another example, uh, backup can be, can be also means to make a copy of your data. For example, uh, please backup. this data on your external stockage can be for example a hard disk 
artist. Another uh, example uh, we have give up. Give up is a frozen verb that means to abandon something. Uh, for example, uh, it's it's not always 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 to go to give up you must continue until you achieve your goals or your dream uh, to the last uh, example to dress up to dress up uh, this phrasal verb means that uh, to wear nice clothes for example I dress up. I dress up for the meeting. Uh, to close up, uh, we say that frozen verb is a combination between verb plus preposition or adverb. To produce another meaning, the first verb are multiple, have multiple meaning. Uh, the first verb. Are most used in the uh, in the native uh, speakers language. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, to keep in mind uh, that this video is not enough to master the phrasal verb. So keep uh, watching and practicing this phrasal verb in your daily conversation. Uh, so see you in the next video. Take care.